And meanwhile, the federal lawmaker representing Southern Ijo Federal Constituency of Bielsa State, Honorable Rodney Bikebina and Biowe, has lent his voice to condemn the cold-blooded murder of 16 military personnel at Okuama Ugedi South Local Government Area of Delta State on the 14th of March 2024. Honorable Rodney, while briefing newsmen in Abuja, noted that a gruesome event was one of the worst things to have happened to our gallant soldiers in recent history. The lawmaker also condemned the invasion of the once serene community by men said to be of the military in search of the perpetrators of the heinous crime at Okuama village. When an oil touches one finger, it touches the other hands. It's because one person or two persons may have committed crime should not mean that every other person should go for that punishment. If the Nigerian Army intelligence is true and they go to a Bumutoro community, it's not every Bumutoro community people that did the killing. As we speak, most of them are in the bush or in the bushes. Just like in my statement, the children can't even go to school. When there's presence of military, of course you know our people. Sometimes the military cannot even do them anything, but for that fear, it's a problem. They can't even go to bush. So as a result, will you allow innocent Nigerians to die as a result of a crime being committed one or two or three persons? No, it's not possible. As it stands now, because of the fear, even those who are selling food, for them to even transport food to a Bomotaro community is even a problem. It's a common thing, not for even the Bomotaro people, even me and you. Once there are situations like that, you know that as Nigerians we find it difficult to go to such places. That is the essence of my calling for palliatives for the people. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.